Now, um, what are some of the biggest mistakes you see in screen, in screen that screenwriters make when they first are starting out? Um, there's this focus on makeability, marketability, chasing what's currently popular, and that's mm -hmm. never going to work because, um, first off, everyone can sort of feel that you're not your heart's not really into that movie. Um, that like just because that western opened big, that there's not going to be a, a whole run on westerns. Um, it goes back to that kind of lottery ticket mentality, and that like there was a time where scripts would sell, and it's like you know suddenly you're a millionaire because that script sold for a bunch. That's not the time we're living in. Really, you need to be writing scripts that you deeply believe in. It's a, it's a movie that you would pay $15 to see opening weekend because it would mean that much. So if that's a giant blockbuster or if that's a tiny art film, write that movie you wish you could see because that's the thing people will read and say like, oh, he or she really, you know, I really see something special in this. I really see a connection to this. I want to meet this writer because mostly you're going to make your living as a screenwriter by being hired to do stuff. Now, what do you? I wanted. To, I'd love to hear your opinion on this. You know, the studio system has changed so dramatically since the '90s or in the '80s, where a movie like Go could get made. Uh, yeah. But in today's world, the studio would never even think of making a film like Go or an independent film. Uh, not an independent film, but just like a little bit. Yeah, Go, Go was basically an independent film. It was an independent film that like got bought out right before we started shooting. So it right. really was an indie. Yeah. But but like you know the studios aren't taking many risks anymore. No, it's all these big blockbuster. Everything's tentpole. What do you feel about that? As far as you know, just for the creativity of of unique stories, unique voices in those stories. What do you think? You know, there are still places that are making those things. So it's not Disney, it's not Columbia, but there's still the Annapurna's, the mm -hmm. A24s. I think we still have a really vibrant indie film community. And so those, those movies are, are happening and they're still getting seen. I think the biggest shift that we're seeing is that more of those movies are ending up on Netflix, on Amazon, on Apple, on places that aren't, you know, that aren't, you know, going into a, a big giant movie theater and seeing it there. Um, I love the big screen movie experience and I still want to keep making those movies, but I have to be realistic that there's certain kinds of movies for which most people are, expecting to see it you know through a streaming service and maybe we should just acknowledge expectation and make those things for the, those markets because that's where you're going to see um like always be my maybe worked really well for netflix um, and that's everyone could watch it and it could be a part of a cultural conversation because it was so successful there on netflix if it had come out and done the traditional you know platform in new york los angeles and have to expand out from that i don't know if it would have worked so I think that's just where we're at right now.